will discuss about the effective nuclear charge look we know it that in an atom one electron is attracted by the nucleus at the same time all in the inner electron these inner electron are also carry the negative charge so these inner electron repel the outermost electron the outermost electron experience force of attraction by the nucleus okay this black line indicate the force of attraction by the nucleus at the same time it feel the force of repulsion by the inner electron okay means nucleus want to attract the outermost electron toward itself but all inner more inner shell electron they repel the electron in the outward direction so in a net resultant the outermost electron feel less force of attraction than the ideal condition okay so the net force of attraction experienced by the outermost electron is called the effective nuclear charge effective nuclear charge is equal to z z is the atomic number that is the number of proton minus sigma sigma is called the screening constant or the shielding constant the value of the screening constant or shielding constant is calculated by the slater rule okay what this rule said according to this rule first we have to arrange the electronic configuration of the atom like 1s then in the next bracket 2s 2p next 3s 3p next 3d next 4s 4p next 4d and 4f and so on if we want to calculate the z effective on the 4f okay or suppose for 4p then all the electron present to the right side of it they contribute nothing in the effective nuclear charge all the electron to the left side they have the contribution in the calculation of effective nuclear charge no contribution of the electron at the right side if we want to calculate the sigma for the n s or np electron what is the rule electron present in the same ns or np it contribute 0.35 the electron present in the n minus 1 shell that contribute 0.85 the electron which is present in the n minus 2 or lower that contribute the 1 suppose in this example we want to calculate the effective nuclear charge for the 4f 4s electron of the zinc then first we have to write the electronic configuration as given what is that 1s2 first bracket then second bracket 2s2 2p6 third bracket 3s2 3p6 next bracket 3d10 and last 4s2 we want to calculate the sigma value for the one of the electron of the 4s then if suppose one electron in our reference but still we have one more electron in the outermost shell the contribution of that electron in the outermost shell is the 0.35 all the electron in the n minus 1 they contribute 0.85 so all these electron in the n minus shell they contribute 0.85 and all the electron to the n minus 1 or lower they contribute the one then what is the sigma look one electron in the 4s contribution of the 4s electron is the 1 in 2.35 how many electron 18 electron in the third shell and contribution of this third shell is the 0.85 how many electron here 10 electron in the n minus 2 or lower and contribution of this 10 electron is the one so value of the sigma become the 25.65 what is the z effective 
it is the atomic number 30 minus sigma sigma is the 25.65 what is the z effective become it become the 4.35 means you can think on the outermost 4s electron of the zinc we have only force of attraction of the 4.35 protons if we want to calculate for the d or f electron what is that electron in the same shell d and f they contribute 0.35 each electron contribute 0.35 very simple electron in the same d or same f contribute 0.35 and all the electron to the left side they contribute the one suppose we want to calculate now sigma value for the one of the d electron so 4f contribute nothing because it is on the right side all the electron to the right side they contribute nothing okay one of the electron we have choose then after that one electron still we have the nine electron and these nine electron present in the same d and these nine electron contribute 0.35 and all the electron to the left side of that they contribute one so how many electron here 10 and 8 18 18 contribute the one so sigma value become the 21.15 then z effective total 30 minus 21.15 8.85 means on the one of the electron of the d we have the nucleus charge of the 8.85 protons only this is how we can calculate the sigma and we can calculate the effective nuclear charge that's all from my side for this session thank you